everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is part of the special request video for Bob Bob. This is going to be a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, and uh, this is a f basically a four or five part tutorial thing I'll have to do for Bob Bob. But the first part, uh, I'm not going to read it all, but basically he's looking for a skill that would uh, hit one enemy twice, but if there's two enemies, it'll hit the two enemies once. And uh, I, after carefully reading and trying, I wasn't able to make it exactly like you described, but I made something very similar and maybe you'll like this skill. Instead of dual shot, I've created a skill called spread shot. So um, this is going to be HP damage. Uh, you can give it whatever element you want. I've gone with A.ATK times five variants. It's up to you. Critical strike, probably, yeah. Uh, whatever cost you want, uh, skill type, you're gonna make it the scope of all enemies. You're gonna make it a Cajun battle screen. I would imagine it's a physical attack and give it whatever animation you want, but you definitely want to give it some animation for the way the action sequence is, uh, uh, the way that I have it set up in the action sequence. So give it a name, icon, description, whatever other things you would require. <clears throat> you're going to need a plugin from Yanfly. You're going to need the Yanfly core engine. You're going to need the battle engine core. You're going to need action sequence pack one and two. Um, you won't need three, but might as well get the third one. Basically what you're going to do is uh, set it up here in your note tags, go set up action, display action, perform action, cast animation. Then you're going to close the setup action. Now we're going to move into a whole action because it's an all enemies scope. So we're going to use a, a little bit of code here uh, supplied by Yanfly. Uh, it's a simple line but it's something I couldn't find so thank you very much Yanfly. So we're using conditional statement in the action sequence saying if dollar sign game capital T on troop dot alive capital M on members open and close parentheses dot link three equal signs to one and what that's doing is checking is there only one uh, enemy left alive if uh, if it, the, there is it'll return one and it'll do what's underneath here <clears throat> so what's underneath here is an action animation wait for animation action effect action animation wait for animation and another action effect else otherwise if there's more than one left obviously if it's got to be more because if there's zero the battle the battle would be over so it's going to action animation wait for animation and action effect but since we set it to all enemies and it's the scope of a uh, whole action uh, all enemy scope that's going to attack all enemies so i know you wanted a dual attack that would hit two of three or five possible enemies um, i i was branching uh, and uh, nesting a bunch of conditionals and uh, I'll still work on it for you, and if I figure it out exactly like you like, I'll, I'll do another tutorial for you. But then we're going to clear the battle log at the end, and we're going to close off the whole action. So, uh, I've already awarded it to my actors and gave them weapons that they won't actually use in the game, but just for this demonstration purpose, um, let me show you. Alright, first thing I want to do is use it once, and you see it hits both enemies. Now I want to kill off one of the enemies, so that we can see how it affects uh, when you just use it with one left. Okay. Now we'll use the skill again. One, two. So if you use it uh, with one enemy left, it'll hit twice. Otherwise, it'll hit everything once. So it's a spread shot. Um, hopefully, you like this tutorial. If you did, um, like, favorite, share, subscribe. I know you have a ton of other questions, and I will get to them, Bob Bob. Um, working with this new plugin from Yanfly, the, uh, the enemy levels plugin, and I'm basically having to redesign all of my enemies from scratch. So it's a lot of work, but I, it's, it's definitely a system I want to inherit in the game, but now I digress. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for everything, uh, all the support you've given me. Special requests have been coming in. I really appreciate that. It gives me stuff to do. And if you have a special request, uh, request or a comment, leave it below. And uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.